how to take fast decisions. Hello and welcome back. My name is Andre and this is the episode 13 of Decode Your Twenties. Do you feel overwhelmed by the number of questions and decisions that you need to take? Do you feel overwhelmed by that? Well, there is actually a big number of decisions that you need to take, but I have good news for you. If university taught me something is the following, 99% of the decisions that we take don't actually matter. 99% of the decisions that we actually take don't matter. And it takes some time to wrap your head about that, but it's actually true. And I actually made a list of stupid questions which actually you just need to take an answer and go with it. Because the answer, like any answer that you take, doesn't actually matter. Let me take the list and read them to you. For example, should you buy a black or a silver iPhone? Nobody cares. What airline should you take? Should you go with Lufthansa or should you go with Air France? Nobody cares, just look at the time and price and just go with it. At what hotel should I stay? The answer is the following, just take one. Should you buy a blue or a red t-shirt? Nobody cares, just choose one. How should you write this email? Should you start it with Good morning, or should you start it with hello? The answer is the following. Just choose one randomly and go with it. What type of coffee should you buy? Should you buy a cappuccino or should you buy an espresso? I don't know, just choose one and go with it. So the point is the following. Most, 99% of the decision don't actually matter. So what you need to do? The idea is the following. Take a fast decision on the 99% such that it gives you time to think more about the 1% remaining. For example, you will spend super less time deciding and pondering over the 99% of the decisions and at the ones which are important such that what university do you follow, what career should you take, in which city should you move. Who should you take uh, as your partner? These are important decisions and you need to devote more time to this. So you need to have more time. So whenever you take one of the 99% of the decisions, I usually recommend you two steps to follow. The first one is, is there any easy information that you can get? Like, is there any information that you don't know about this decision that is very easy for you to get that information. For example, suppose that you want to fly to Barcelona next month and you checked the airplane tickets with uh, Air France. Is there any easy information that you can get? Sure! You go on a website like Skyscan or something and you check all the flights and then you decide. The point here is that once you see all the flights which are going to Barcelona, nothing is gonna happen. It's not like a new flight will appear next week. It's not gonna happen. So you have all the information available. And now you need to put the last question. What are the alternatives? Like, you have all the information that you can easily get. It doesn't worth spending days or weeks getting this information because the decisions will not change after a point in time. So if you plan your trip to Barcelona two years in advance, sure, there will be new flights coming. But if you plan it for the next month, there will not be any new flights. So you have all the information available. So you ask yourself, what are the alternatives? So, and the alternatives are basically the flight tickets in this case. You either take a $100 flight at 8 a.m. or a $1,000 flight at 10 p.m. 
It's your choice. You have all the choices, now you choose one. The idea here is that once you have all the alternatives, you just like spend one, two, three, four minutes thinking, and then you go with one. Because if you don't manage to take the decision in, I don't know, five minutes, it means that it's a random decision. It means that there is nothing which stops you from taking either of them, so you can literally take any of them. So what you need to do is just choose one and go with it. And this is pretty much everything in order to take a fast decision. It might seem easy, but it is easy. It's not much theory like a super hard algorithm in order to take a decision. You have two steps. You take all the easy information regarding that choice, meaning like spend some time gathering all the information and then having all the alternative choose one fast the whole point here is to be fast like you optimize for speed you optimize for the 99 percent of the decisions which don't actually matter this is pretty much everything that i wanted to say now it's time for you to practice this if this video was valuable to you, you can watch more videos that are coming by clicking the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.